Okay, wow. <laughs> okay, so um, you guys saw me cut the board, or actually, um, what was I doing? I think you were Oh, grinding. I was leveling it. I was leveling it with the router with the uh, sled. So what I did here is I went down. If, zoom down. Focus. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I will. Kind of come down here. Oh. You're, Eric's going to come in and he's going to zoom in on this. The other day when we were outside, I had changed some of the settings. So when we came back inside, the focus was off. And so that's my fault. I apologize for that. But I think we have it all fixed now. So I'm that not as bad a cameraman as he's, everybody thinks yes, I was. Yes, he was not a bad cameraman. It was bad camera settings. So anyway, so I took off a lot of that... Um, that edge here and I want to leave the white and I'm leaving this brown because it goes down into the wood I don't want to take any more away from this but I don't know if you can see right in here there's a ridge right in there it kind of goes in deep right there so I had to use which Eric bought me a set of these uh, wire brushes so I used this wire brush and I cleaned up inside of there as much as I could without taking away any of the character. I want to leave as much as I can. That'll all be covered with a uh, resin, so that'll be all okay. So next we're gonna come back. Eric is going to walk me through using the belt sander, which I have not used before. So actually I did, I practiced with it. I won't, I won't say I didn't, but um, so we'll come back and we'll uh, sand the other side of this. Okay, we are back. So what we're gonna do here, guys, Vicki has actually practiced with the belt sander on the other side and I'm going to go over, I just spent about two minutes kind of going over how to actually start using the belt sander. So what I did, basically what you want to do and, and she actually, what do you think of the belt sander? I like it much better than a round one, yeah. Well, faster. it's, it's faster. much, much faster, it's super fast. But it's a very intimidating tool. So the main thing that you want to remember, and I let her use this one because I think this is a little easier to use. Um, let the let the belt sander find its own level. All you got to do is just basically kind of get used to the feeling that it wants to go that way. Hold it back, but let it find its own level, and then after you get used to it for a while, then you can start putting pressure on. So literally, it's just finding its own level. And all you're doing is just letting the weight of the sander do it. Then after a while, then you can start putting pressure on it. That's really all I told her, and she kind of just took it from there. So I'm going to get out of the way and let I'm you sand. Do it. 38 years of working around this guy. All right, here we go. There you go. Start it first before you lay it down on there. So I stopped for just a few minutes, turn it around, but right here where we had the um, router bit come, um, come loose when we were out there leveling it, it's a pretty good size divot. So I'm going to finish this with my little um, sander here and then Eric's going to come in with the big boy and take that out. I, don't, I really don't want to tackle the, the big skill sander right now. I'll let him do that. So I'm going to finish this and then Eric will come back and he'll kind of fix this up a little bit. So here we go.
guys. So here's what we're going to do. Since we've got this divot that we need to take up, we need to surface this out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use the little bit bigger sander. Now, normally on this sander, I have my 50 grit, but I'm going to take that off and put on my 80 grit. I don't want to take it down quite that fast. Now, remember, Vicky's going to go back on both sides of this with the orbital sander and smooth everything down. We're just trying to use a little bit better tools in order to get it down a little bit faster. And I'm not ready for that one. Yeah, here we go. Am I plugged in? <laughs> Okay, so Eric did some sanding, and you'll see on here, there's still a divot, but what we've decided to do, because I really, I, I kind of like it, actually, is we're going to draw some um, thing here, and Eric's going to take the router, and he's going to kind of route this out, so this is all going to be filled, not filled, but have the blue um, river inside of it, that way I don't have to take it down any more than it already is. And we get more blue. So now we're going to come back um, in just a second. I got to move things around a little bit. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to show you how I take care of these edges, these rough edges. So we'll be right back. What edges? The rough edges. I was up. Oh, <laughs> I, I wasn't on. I'm sorry, right here. These edges around the side, um, actually, it's pretty rough. You can see here. So how I'm going to take care of all this stuff here. And yes, I'm bouncing around. Now you know how it feels. Yeah, I do know how it feels. All right. So anyway, we'll be right back. Okay, so to, to round this up and clean this up, make it nice and smooth, we are using the orbital sander with an 80 grit disc. And um, so here we go. Ready? Yeah, do it. with the what is it the 220 grit mm -hmm. and really smooth it out a lot and then I probably will use just some sandpaper little sheet and kind of get in there to kind of smooth that out some but basically you've got the shape and the color that I, you want there. right and I like I, I don't know I don't know if you can see let me try to turn this around a little bit I don't want to take all of this brown out. It goes into yeah, the board get, here. Get, okay, I see where you're talking about. I don't about want that. to take that out. You like the way that looks. I do, so and it would, it would really kind of create a divot in there or yeah. a deep if I tried to do too much, and I don't want to do that. So well, that brown gives a nice contrast. It to the does. Light. I like the It does. Way that it's looks. nice. And it's much cleaner now being here. I'm going to do the other side, and then I'll come back with the 220, so we'll be right back. Okay, so Eric ran in to get something to drink. I want to show you real quick. This is a, a knot, and it had a bunch of that fuzzy stuff in it. So I just took Eric's little tool here, because I can't. I don't want to even attempt to try to get. I don't want to lose that knot. I don't even want to attempt 
try to get the sander thing down in there or the brush. So I am just going to use Eric's little thingy here that he uses on his signs and try to clean that out a little bit. I want that all full of the blue resin. So I'll work on that, get that cleaned up, and then we'll be back in just a minute. And Eric should be back, and then we'll do the kind of the finished sand. Okay, so I showed you how I cleaned this up. This is all, well, not even all of it. I got a bunch more, but I wanted to show you. I cleaned all of that stuff out of this little um, knot here. Um, that would have just been filled with blue resin. It would have, I don't think it would have looked as good. I like it, the clean look. So, and on the other side, you can see I did, hey, here's another me, eyeball. Let me find it. <laughs> oh, it is an eyeball. It's an eyeball. So we're going to So have, now, can you stand that up so we can see all the way through it? So we can see, okay, now lean it back a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. I think we can see all can the way. Can you see yeah. my finger? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So yeah, you, you see can see all the way through. Is. That's a huge gap. And it yeah. was filled with all this stuff. And I don't know, it maybe would have been a filler for the resin, but I think it would have taken away from the color also. So okay. anyway, Good. so clean that up. Now, um, so now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my finished sand. I rounded off all my edges the way that I want them. This is the front. This will be the top of my table. Um, so I'm going to start and I'm just going to kind of go do a little, little bit of finished sand and then we'll come back and we'll close it up. Okay. Okay. I forgot to tell you too, I am using the, um, Sorry, we forgot you're in the air. It's, it's, it's really hot, hot here. out here. Um, anyway, I'm using the 220 to do a finish on this one. Okay. All right, here we go. here. I've got to go around. i got to do the edges. got to do the other side. And then um, I think we'll come back on the next video, show you how Eric is going to fix this. We'll draw it up and what it, get it drawn and carved. And then um, I think we'll be able to tape up, get things taped up and ready for our first pour. Yeah, so, on the next video. On the next video. Yeah. So That'll be Monday. That'll be Monday. So, um, Thank you guys for watching and being patient with me and for all the support and, and comments and and I was surprised. I kind of thought, well, this isn't really what you do, but anyway, so um, thank you everybody for all of that. Um, like and share the videos, please. Um, Eric has posted some, uh, some of this on Instagram and he posts every day on Instagram, so like and share that and um, we'll see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.